All right, guys, so this is the first cast right here at this pond. Let's see if we can get, I see something sitting right in there right now. Unless that's my eyes. Nope, something definitely just swam into those reeds back there. I don't know what it was, but. Mm. Oh my gosh, a bass. There's already a bass that just hit that thing. Are you kidding me? That was like the worst cast and reel in my life too. I don't know how much this, I don't know how much this gets fish, so like, these fish might be kind of hungry and like, I mean, I for sure, that bass like, it was like a light tap, but I, I watched him. It's koi. That must have been what that really big one was, I saw. I don't know if you guys can see him from here. There's a giant goldfish. He's swimming right under there now, and it looked like, He's chasing like a darker colored one. That must have been what I saw. <laughs> That's kind of neat. And that was not the cast I was going for, but we'll just roll with it. All right, so I'm gonna move away from the dock. There might be too much pressure there. Or I might just not be doing that good, I don't know. So I'm gonna try a little bit off to the side here. See if I give it a good cast, maybe something will chase. All right, guys, I got something. Doesn't feel too big, whatever. Perch. It's pretty. Check that out. Not a giant one, but definitely a cool fish. Hey, right, buddy. Thank you. There he goes. That's a good start for the day, guys. We got something else. Holy cow. Look at the size. What is that, sunfish? It's gotta be a sunfish. Look at the size of that. Like just compared to my hand. Oh my gosh, guys. That is a big fish, he might be a keeper. I'm gonna say he's a keeper. And I'm gonna put him on a stringer, I think, and then we're gonna cook him up. That is a good fish, guys. <laughs> I almost thought he was like a little bass or something when I saw him swimming through the water. That is so cool. Yes, yeah, so that, he, I mean, he's quite a bit bigger than that perch, I'd say. Definitely a little bit heftier, but that is so cool. I was, I did, I haven't seen any of these like off the shore this size, so that's kind of neat. Yeah, we're gonna put them on a stringer, and yeah, let's see what else we can catch. Something's hitting it. What's that? Set a second. That's a little, little bluegill is chasing it right there. I don't know if that's what hit it at first or what, but. getting warmer. Something big is going to be on it. I see bass. I haven't seen any big ones yet, but I mean, I've been seeing bass in here. Well, guys, it didn't get, <laughs> get to hit record in time, but there's our bass. <laughs> Look at that little dude. I mean, he just slammed it like right there. Like I literally watched him. There's a bluegill watching us now, but yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna release. We're gonna release this little guy. And there he goes. I was saying I wanted a bass, and I guess there's my bass. Maybe we can get on one that's just a little bit bigger. You know, that'd be kind of cool. All right, you guys, there's a bass like right here. Kind of scared off all the bluegill. Right 
right past it. Nice. Nice. All right, guys, I got on something else. Looks like another perch. That's a pretty good sized one, actually. Holy cow, that's a bit. That is a giant perch. Holy cow, guys. Oh, don't go, go, don't go anywhere. Oh my gosh, guys. That is a tank of a perch. I'll put this guy back. I don't know how people feel about killing them when they're this big, so. Yeah, we'll put him back. I mean, that's the biggest one I've ever caught, for sure. That guy's ring at this big guy back in the water. Let's see if we can get him to take him off. Yeah. There he goes. All right, guys, so I got this fish all dispatched, and I'm just gonna fillet both sides. I'm not the best at this by any means, but from my understanding, just go slowly across the back like that. kind of in like that and then if we did stuff right that skin just wanting to peel off already should be able to just kind of go down the ribs in the spine get all that meat All right, so now that we got that right there, I'm gonna come in back there, get it started. Try to keep pressure on the fillet. Then pull it back. Well. That's a bluegill fillet right there. I don't believe there's bones in it. I'm hoping there's not. You don't get a whole lot. I mean, you can look at that right there. I might have missed a little bit right there. But there's also ribs in that stuff, so I mean, that backed me right there, but that's pretty much all you get off of these guys. So now I'm just gonna take these guys. We're gonna toss some of these reeds over here so that no one else has to really see them, and the fish can still enjoy them and maybe get a meal out of it. And that's what we ended up with for fillets. Those a good little rinse right there. I'm gonna come up here with some water. Clean this up a little bit, and we should be good to go.
All right, guys, so here we go. It's the bluegill that we caught this morning. It honestly looks pretty good. There's not a whole lot of meat on here. Well, I mean, I guess when you take into consideration that was one, just one fish. There's the meat, pretty thin filet. Looks good. We'll take this big one right here. Let's try it out. So I'm not like a huge fish eater and I'm actually kind of enjoying this. Like, it still tastes like fish. It's not overly coated in batter or anything. It's pretty light. That was a crunchy piece. I like that better, but no, it's honestly pretty good. See right there. Yeah, cooked up nice. I'm not really sure how else you can cook a fish. Maybe besides frying it, so that it's somewhat good. I've never been able to just like pan butter a couple seasonings and make it taste good the only way I can eat fish is if it's a uh, like in a fried batter or something but that's honestly pretty good guys that's a good piece look for you pretty good but if you guys do like these fishing videos or even catch and cook videos be sure to let me know and I'll be sure to do some more because uh, I do like cut like catching and cooking this stuff like that's actually pretty fun to me and uh, I just kind of need to try it out because it's not every day that people do things like this so it's kind of neat to experiment with it and try like different animals fish and all that but this is going to be the end of today's video guys thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one Woo! that's a nice one double that's a big one